Hello everyone, it is Wednesday evening and it's an unusual night for us to be out here but it's probably the last uh, warm fall night for a while so we got Pop John out here and uh, Jenny and Mark and we're just kind of continuing our going across the side here where we've done so well and we think we might have one if it is I think it's really busted up yeah that's a pretty crude one we certainly found nicer but I think that's kind of that looks like a big old huge really? imp well yeah or impact fracture to where it mm -hmm. it broke bad. this way like almost yeah. in half same on that side yeah. mm. you can see the notch there though okay well it's a find if we find anything else we will get back to you hey good morning everyone this is Tom and Pop John Suzanne and Mark and Mocha and we are back out uh, at the site we are kind of at a spot here where we'd like to go this direction but we're gonna wait until the farmer removes the corn because um, that's close to where this rock pile is that we've done so well but we've kind of just extended off as far as we can go so we're back over um, off the other side of the grid where we didn't do as well and uh, we dug the first square nothing we're into the second square and we do have one it's not much a one and it's an odd looking one but it's all well, other pieces that yeah yeah all blunted off used as a scraper obviously um, but it is a find and it's so, intact yeah it's intact, intact. And uh, it's good to have Pop John back out. How's your knee feeling? Great. Yep. yep. So he's got a new, uh, at least partial knee. And uh, that was how long ago? Six weeks. Six weeks ago. So that was that's pretty... Turned me loose yesterday. So. Pretty, pretty good recovery. So, since it stopped raining, I'll go on my bicycle. <laughs> exactly. All right. Very good. Well, hopefully we'll get back to you. Hey everyone, it's Tom. It's Sunday afternoon. Pretty great day here in Ohio. Um, so I just went out for a recon drive <laughs> just to see if any of my fields are turned up. This is where I found the banner stone and uh, picked the soybeans, but uh, I went out and tried to look. And I mean, I picked up a, I don't know, picked up a thumb scraper here and this worked piece. But the reason I'm out here is because the property next to it to us where I found a pretty nice piece last year um, I went by and I texted the owner about an hour ago to see if he'd be okay because he's turned some dirt up and he just texted me back and said yeah that was fine so we're gonna head over there and see if we can come up with anything I'll get back to you okay well I jumped over to this field nice to see uh, rained on dirt this time of year on this little scraper a little bit ago and then looks like I've got a paint here but it looks like it's missing the top we're not missing the top blunted off point well that's nice to not really expect to even have a chance to walk a field today and to walk out here and find one uh, that's a nice break from the digging you know the digging is those of you that don't have a chance to dig probably think they you'd be doing that every day but you know after a while you it's nice to just have a little break and get out and uh, walk a field so here's what we have for our efforts today and I dropped it okay we'll find anything else I will get back to you Okay, well, as you can see, the rain has arrived, so we're um, pushed indoors today. Um, so here's an updated grid uh, showing the 
five squares that we dug yesterday. And again, we're moving this uh, direction that's actually to the west. Um, and we're, you know, getting away from where we found all the stuff recently here. Um, actually down in here. So the reason that w the reason we haven't gone further this direction is this has corn on it up to about here. So we uh, we actually had a visit from the farmer yesterday, and he said that they may be taking uh, picking that corn this week. But this is the area we want to go, especially since if you look at these little circles here, these are those um, post molds we think that form a semicircle. And we're wondering if we might get into something up in here, or at least we're excited to see if we do. So here's uh, here's a look at the finds the last couple of times. Um, let's see, we found uh, we found this middle section. I'm not quite sure what order these are in. It's broken base middle section. Here's the blunted off scraper type point we found yesterday. This was kind of a neat uh, neat uniface knife. If you look at this edge, it's got this big thinning strike I guess down the down the middle here. This was kind of an unusual looking break. And then I uh, got a chance to surface hunt here actually earlier today before the rain came out and picked up that one. But yeah, not a, not a lot to show for our digging efforts now. I'm going to put this down on the tripod here a second because I, I want to revisit this middle section here that we found. Um, and this is why, again, I keep uh, all the all the pieces uh, that we find out there, uh, because I don't know if you remember this piece, which was actually kind of exciting for us, because um, you know this goes. Let me go over here to the book. I really do believe that this is um, a, a paleo point here in Ohio. Converse calls them unfluted paleos. Um, but they look like a Clovis, but they don't exhibit a flute. They're not, um, I know some of you think high-low points, but it's shaped a, a little bit differently and they're a little bit longer. But um, when I got home with this middle section, I thought that it looked familiar. And it did. So now we have two pieces of what appears to be a paleo era point. I haven't glued it yet. But you know this I mean this puts some age to at least the first um, use of the site, which you know we find a lot of woodland, we find our cake out there, but um, now all of a sudden not all of a sudden, but we are finding some older culture stuff. It does have a little bit of basal or uh, lateral grinding here on this side. It's not as easy to pick it out on this side, um, but yeah, that again, it's exciting to to reunite some pieces like that. Um, speaking of. Um, older older pieces and here's the other one that we uh, reunited uh, again going back to uh, late paleo going into early archaic these were found in um, close proximity to each other and then I went back to look at the surface hunts in that area and we did pick this up a couple years ago stemmed lance, big stemmed lance, probably Stringtown, and it's got this little barb on the side here. So certainly some some earlier occupation at the site uh, than what we at least first thought uh, we were into. But 
Okay, well, so now we're kind of at the uh, at the farmer's mercy. Uh, we do have all of this area open, but if you look at the artifacts coming from this side of the grid, and again, the artifacts are the red numbers. Not a lot over here. Um, this is open. We could dig, you know, these spots here. Uh, if we come down here, uh, actually off the grid, there is some area down here where we dug last year um, that's open right now. But we really think this is the the next place to at least get into. So, okay. Well, just wanted to bring you up to date on those items. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in today, and if all goes well, we will be back out there next Saturday. So, till next time, this is Commissioner Tom signing off.